Hey, Battle Buddies. So today's topic is going to be to ship or not ship your belongings abroad. And we have those conversations with our family and our friends about what is the best options for us, whether we should ship our things or should we just sell it off and just start over. So in this conversation, we're going to talk about the benefits of shipping and not shipping. And if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned. Hey guys, and we're back. So we're going to talk today about shipping your things abroad, or if you should sell it and start fresh wherever you are going. So that is something that we always want to know because we have so much things in our home that we own, right? And it's like, dang, do I really want to just sell it off to somebody or do I want to keep it and take it with me? So that's what we're going to discuss today, okay? The benefits of doing either options and neither one of them are bad. We just need to know more information on should we do that or not, okay? So for those who don't know me, my name is Miss Tahini Goddess and on my channel, I will be recording my journey from here, Dallas, Texas, all the way to Accra, Ghana. And I will be showing all the tips and the tricks and everything that I did to smoothly transition into Accra, Ghana. If you're interested in something like that, please hit that subscribe button as well as notification so that when I put out new contents, you will not miss it. So let's talk about this, shipping or not shipping. So there's only two options. Either you're going to start over and sell your stuff or you're going to pack your stuff and you're going to send it over abroad. OK, so let's start with the first one. What is exactly the big thing that is really going to hurt us? Right. It's like letting go our items. OK, so. Some of us are not attached to our items, right? It's just material things, you know, and we can get it again somewhere else as well as some of us don't want to, you know, spend that money to ship anything abroad. You know, we feel like we can just buy it when we get there. So one of the benefits of just selling your things and starting over is you don't have to worry too much about anything. You just get to start fresh. You've got the money that you've made from the things that you sold. And then you turn around and you purchase what you like when you get into that country. So you just basically starting fresh, right? You want new things. Everything's new, 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 you know? So you're not bringing anything old with you. You starting fresh. And that's a good feeling. You know, I can't say that that's something bad because for me, every time I purchase a home or every time I move into a new place, I literally buy everything new. I don't know why I just do it. Just, it just makes, it just feels like that's how it's supposed to go. You know, like new place, new things, right? And it might seem wasteful for some people, right? But for others, it's, it's based on your finances. You can do what you can, you know? So if that's what you like to do, you do it. So if there's no bad thing on wanting to start over and not wanting to bring anything with you. So when you do so, you just have to keep in mind that when you go there, you got to know about the quality of those items that's there. Would it be the same quality as you may buy here and that you're accustomed to where you're from? You also will basically be wanting to have to run around and try to figure out what places will have the items or will they even have the things that you really want, right? So that's the downside of starting over when you're moving abroad into another country that you don't really know too much about, especially if you haven't visited multiple times to look around and shop around and see, you know, what things they may have. So those are things you have to basically try to think about. Should I sell my stuff? Will I be able to get the same type of quality when I get there? Will I be able to find the items that I sold there that I know that I really, really wanted to keep, right? So to start over, you don't have to worry about nothing. You just pack up your few clothes that you want and get on the plane and go. Now, one thing I want to discuss is selling your items. Some people may feel like, you know, 
oh, my sofa, my bed, I paid 1300 for it, or I paid 2000 for this sofa, so I want 1000 for my sofa, or I want at least 1000 for my bed. But somebody might come to you and be like, I only want to pay 800 I only want to pay 500 What you think your item is worth is not what somebody else may think your item is worth, especially when it's used. We call that secondhand right no matter how nice you may have kept it and only you may slept in it or 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 you only had it under a year or a year or less or anything like that at the end of the day what somebody thinks that item is worth might not be the same or what you think it's worth so all those things you have to take an account of the loss that you will have when you're selling off your items you might not get what you think that you your item is worth so you might want to just try and get as close to it, of course, negotiate. But those are the downside of selling your stuff because nobody might pay close to even half of what you sold it for. OK, so that is one thing that you would like to take in account. OK, so the next topic is going to be to pack your stuff and to ship them abroad. And the pros and cons of that is just as great as you selling and buying, right? So the good thing about shipping your items is that you would be able to have your stuff with you, right? Things that is close to you, things that you just don't want to get rid of, you'll have them, you know? So you'll have your shoes, your clothes, your sofa, your bed, you know, a, a figurine, you know, something that you just don't want to have to repurchase you know, once you get there and items that you can't purchase again, once you get there, you know, so that's the good thing about shipping your items, right? You have something that once you unpack it, you can make it feel like a home, like you live here in United States or wherever you from Canada or UK, right? So you'll be able to feel a sense of, okay, I can, I, I can relax now. Like, when I come into my house, you know, I have things that familiarize me with making me feel like I didn't really miss out on too many things. And that's really what I'm going for, right? I'm going for the, I want to still feel like, okay, when I come in, it's my home, you know? I guess I could start over and buy something new, but I don't want to do that, you know? But then there's a downside to moving your stuff, the cost. OK, so with the cost, you got to pay to find a great shipping company that will cost you some money, you know, some nice little coins, you know, and and the gold ones to be exact, <laughs> you know. And so then you got to find you an agent in that country, you know, and <clears throat> helping that that person can help you get your stuff cleared through custom. And that also is a nice coin. A gold one exactly too so when you add those stuff up you know it's like mm, should I just sell my stuff to start over you know but then at the same time the benefit of it is I get to get my stuff and all of my belongings I don't have to worry about you know this particular item that I might not be able to get there you know and for me to pack up my clothes alone Okay. I don't want to, I want to get rid of my clothes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I don't want to, and to start over to buy clothes. I don't want to do that. You know, my purses, my shoes, you know, I, I don't want to do that. And yes, people might think like, Oh, you could bring it on a plane that costs money too. And it's not cheap. That's a nice cute coin as well. You know? So for me, I prefer to ship my items and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ship my items because I live in a three bedroom house and I moved in this house in January of 2023 is when I purchased my home. So as I told y'all before, I'm a new girl. Like I buy everything new. So I don't want to get rid of my stuff. I don't want to start over in that type of capacity. You know, um, I would really like to bring my items with me i want to bring my sofa i want to bring my bed i want to bring my clothes you know my rug my my lamp my figurine my pictures 
that I have. You know, I, I'm an art girl. I love art. So I have a lot of art pictures. I don't want to leave those things behind, you know? So those are the things that, you know, on the con side, I'm just going to have to pay, you know, to get my things shipped. Now, will it be the same amount of money that somebody who's going to start over will have to pay? Maybe not. Then again, maybe so, because it depends on the quality of life that they want on what they're going to spend their money on. Right. So they might and they might not. Somebody may not value certain items the way someone else do. It does not make neither one right or wrong. It's just on the preference. You're right. Somebody not, might, might not be attached to their belongings. Right. It might be material to them. And somebody else, yes, it is material, but it's my material and I want it, you know? So we have to just figure out what it is that we want to do. And so for me, I'm going to ship my items. Some people want to ship their cars, right? So if you're shipping your car, see, that's also something that can be a little costly as well, because just because you're shipping your whole house, and then you're shipping your car, that's one price. It's not. It's two separate prices. They charge you to pack your car into that container as well. Okay? So now when you're shipping your items and you're shipping your car, both of those at the same time is an extra cost to you once you get into country because you have to pay customs on your items as well as you have to pay customs on that car that you're bringing in. So you definitely have to take the pros and cons, put in your budget what it is that you're willing to spend to move these items that you want to ship and try to stick as close to that budget as possible and ship your belongings abroad. Okay. So when you're shipping your items, there's two different sizes of shipping containers. You have a 20 foot and a 40 foot container. The 20 foot is going to be cheaper than the 40 foot, but the 40 foot container is the one that you're going to need to ship your car and your belongings together. Okay. The 20 foot is enough for you to pack all your household goods nice and neat and ship it abroad safely. So there you have it guys. So those are the options to ship or not ship your household goods abroad. So again, follow your dreams. What's for you? No one can take it away. Not even yourself. So until next time, bye.